guys, welcome to another video. In this video, you're going to see me hatching out some Aracana eggs. I'm turbulent and you are cool oh, oh, oh. You watch me smile and dance like a fool But I don't care cause you do like me channel in this video we're going to be hatching some Aracana eggs I brought myself my incubator the other day cat so this is my first time hatching eggs with an incubator I have, have done a lot of research so I'm hoping to impart some of this research onto you as well so the eggs I'll be hatching are Aracana eggs puss, puss. so okay uh, as you can see, I have Smoke here joining us today. Uh, he decided that he wanted to get some attention, so that's why he's here. He loves attention. So today I will be doing an incubation video for chickens. I am currently expecting some Aracana chickens to be shipped up to me. I'll be getting 10 lavender and 10 partridge colour, so that will be exciting. Uh, I've got my incubator currently set up, it's been running for the past five days. I have two thermometers and a hygrometer in there just to make double sure that the temperature and humidity is actually correct, which it is. I'm very happy with how it's running. So our Aracanas are a little bit different than the US version of the Aracanas. Uh, they're more like the Americanas, but even then they're different. The females have quite a big top knot on their head, for example. Though they both do lay blue eggs, but you'll be able to see that as they grow up and I, as I do videos of them growing up as well. So they are coming from about four and a half hour drive away, um, hopefully on an overnight career, but we'll see. Our career guy is really awesome actually being out rural. We usually do get things overnight as opposed to a lot of rural delivery. Might take it usually an extra two to three days, so that's cool. He's also been informed and is aware that I am expecting some eggs. So I'll touch base on the next couple of days once the eggs come in. Hey guys, so my eggs have been delivered, which is super duper exciting. Um, they came by courier this morning, uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and open them up and see what's in there. So here is my box. It is actually in a wine box. <laughs> okay, so my eggs have just arrived this morning, um, so now I am going to unpackage them and see how it is. It's very well sellotaped. I love the fact that it's in a wine box. Okay, so we've got the partridge eggs and the lavender eggs. Let's see what we've got inside. They're all individually wrapped. Since they have been shipped from Auckland, I'm just going to let them settle before I pop them into the incubator uh, for about 12 hours. Make sure there's no cracked ones or anything like that. Okay. 
and I'm just going to pop them so they are pointy side down. As you can see, some of them have a little bit of dirt on them, but that's okay. Uh, I won't be washing them because I don't want to remove the film which is around their shell, their bloom. Um, I don't want to remove the bloom around the shell and introduce uh, bacteria and things into the shell so they can go in just as they are. Okay, and there we have it. We have... It's an interesting colour. It's more like an olivey colour, I guess, there. From the partridge ones. So I'll leave them sitting here for the next 12 hours or so. I'll be back to you once I pop them in the incubator. So now we are going to be putting the eggs in the incubator. Lavender ones first. So we will be candling these at day 8. See you then. So these guys are being popped into the incubator now. So I'm doing a dry hatch. So basically I'm not paying in any water for the humidity for the first 18 days. Um, temperature is currently set to 37.8. As long as it doesn't go below 25%. But the weather we've been having has been very humid lately. So it's highly unlikely. So this one automatically turns the eggs every couple of hours. It also counts the days for you on the front, which is quite helpful. So we've got the incubator all set up. As you can see the temperature is increasing because I have just put the eggs in it. So it is down a little bit, but it is set for 37.8, which it's just reached. So the heater has now turned itself off and we're at 34 degrees. So we shall see you back here in eight days time. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you found this informative. Make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of any other videos I have coming up. Uh, there'll be chickens, there'll be soap making, there'll be goats. So that'll be fun. Until then, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.